ColorOS 13 is a massive update. It's got a new aquamorphic design, brand new widgets for the home screen, large folders, huge improvements to the always on display, and a lot more. I'll do a deep dive into what Oppo has in store for us with their newest Android 13 beta update, and even let you know when it'll roll out for your device. Also, check out these new Material U widgets that we made. I really like this music player one, especially since it expands when you tap it, or even this amazing looking search bar or clock widget to use on the front. On top of that, I dropped some incredible new pixel inspired walls, and you can get early access to my videos before they're released, all on my Patreon page linked down below. Anyways, as I said at the beginning, ColorOS 13 has a new aquamorphic design, meaning a lot of the elements have this water inspired look especially when you use the latest global theme palette. The quick settings panel, switches and sliders within the settings, and most system elements have this blue color theme. It's mostly inspired by the color of water as it changes during a sunrise and sunset. It's made ColorWest 13 more concise, comfortable, and simple to use. The system font has also become slightly wider to improve its readability, plus it's been expanded to support a wider array of characters like Latin, Cyrillic, and Arabic numerals. Some Apple apps like the Settings, Recorder, Calculator, and a few others are now using a card style layout instead of cramming everything together. I personally love this new look. It makes everything feel a lot more spacious and organized since every piece of information is classified by different sizes of cards. Whenever I hop into the settings, for example, I can identify a specific section much more quickly than if it was a seamless list of options. I'm also in love with the improvements done to the home screen. No lie, I've always found the ColorOS launcher to be one of the best stock launchers out there. It's just so customizable and still carries its own unique look, which I can respect. All while still keeping that familiar Android launcher feel we all know and love. It's got the swipe up app drawer, widgets and icons on the home screen, and a Google Discover panel on the leftmost screen. But now, with ColorOS 13, the home screen has some fun new changes to play around with. Starting with the big stuff, there are new widgets, and I don't mean one or two, I mean a whole pack for a variety of different apps. To name a few, there's a new weather widget to show you the current forecast in your area, another one that shows you the battery usage within a chart and has a list of the apps that consume the most battery, another widget for all of your favorite contacts, one for optimizing the RAM, two clock widgets to let you see the time of different countries, and a few others for keeping track of the steps you've taken, a few to see your files, and a picture frame to have your favorite memories on the home screen. The best part is that most of these widgets animate beautifully on the home screen, making your launcher feel alive and active. Each one is also interactable, and they don't feel like the typical outdated Android widgets that we're all used to. They feel much more premium and follow the consistent rounded rectangular theme, sort of like on iOS. Now let's say I want to use all these widgets, but I just don't have the space because they'll clutter up my home screen. Well, ColorOS 13 has got my back because it provides a new shelf menu to let me place a ton of these widgets in one spot. So I can simply swipe down on the home screen and boom, all of my widgets are right there, ready to go. I even love that it comes with a unique looking Spotify widget, much better than the one that comes with stock Android. Another cool trick is that I can also enlarge the folders to make them more easily accessible. They can be two by two instead of a small little icon, it may seem funny at first, but it actually comes in handy, especially since you can now swipe inside the folder to view all the apps inside, and you can even tap on them to open them without even opening the folder now. Pretty cool. The system icons have also been redesigned. They have a stronger color contrast to make them pop more, and they're easier to read now, which is great for those with visual impairments. Usually I'm more of a fan of a flat and minimal design, but I'm not going to lie, those new bubbly icons definitely caught my attention a lot more. And finally, for that cherry on top, ColorOS 13 comes with a new live wallpaper called Blossom, and it isn't just an ordinary old wallpaper. This shows you the growth of a plant to indicate how much time you spent on your phone. So in the morning, it'll start off as a little stem, and then as you use the phone more and more, the plant will continue to grow. Eventually, it'll start to turn into a metallic piece of art, letting you know that you've been using your phone for far too long. It's a really neat idea, and it doesn't just stop there. The color of the plant also changes to match the app that you've been using the most in the past hour. Very creative and it's a spectacular masterpiece. What's also a masterpiece is the updated design of the quick settings panel. You can now have two of your most used tiles as large rounded rectangles instead of the usual small circles at the top. 
I found this perfect for the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth tile because I always have to toggle those whenever I lower down my notification panel. Plus, the music player will always appear right next to those two rectangles to let me control my music much more quickly without needing to expand anything. It's beautiful. When I do need to expand the quick settings though, everything is now closer to the top, which is perfect for one-handed use. And it even has an improved layout for when I'm in landscape mode playing a game or watching a movie. The only thing I will say though, is that I can see it bothering some folks since those extra rectangular tiles and music player do take a good amount of space in the notification tray. But with a big screen phone like the Find X5 Pro, I didn't really find it to be much of a bother. ColorOS 13 has brought a huge upgrade to the always on display as well. It now reduces the menu hierarchy and makes information much more easier to spot and control. For example, if you use Spotify, the always on display will not pop up the playback controls and even some of your favorite playlists. Or for some food delivery apps like Zomato or Swiggy from India, you'll get status updates on your order, like if it's been picked up or delivered. There are also some new animations that you can use. The Homeland section provides you with moving animals like polar bears or penguins on a slab of ice, or a clownfish circling a coral reef. Of course, there's a second meaning behind each animation. The polar bear, for example, has its eyes shrink or enlarge based on the daily temperatures. It does this to call attention to climate change. It's very sad and definitely makes you want to conserve your carbon footprint even more. Oppo has also continued to partner with Snapchat to bring Bitmoji to the always on display. So now you can wake up to a funny new sticker of your Bitmoji every so often. And lastly, there's also a new insight feature that shows you the number of times you've unlocked your phone and how many hours you've been using it throughout the day. It encourages you to take better care of your digital well-being and spend more time enjoying life away from your phone. Overall, I love all the improvements done to the always on display. Keep them coming, Oppo. When it comes to security and privacy, ColorOS 13 includes all the basic new standards that Google released with native Android 13. Things like the system automatically deleting your clipboard history after an hour, or the nearby Wi-Fi feature which doesn't reveal your location information. But aside from those usuals, ColorOS 13 also comes with a few unique goodies of its own. A really cool one is called Auto Pixelate. Within the photo editor, this feature will automatically blur out any profile pictures and names with any screenshot of a chat. That way, you don't expose your friends or family members' identities when sharing the conversation. It works really well too, but as of now, it only works for Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp. I'm sure more messaging apps will be supported in the future though. ColorOS 13 also came with a new private directory called Private Safe for hiding and encrypting any important files on your phone. You can safely store and encrypt any photos, videos, audio, documents, or any other files. It's protected by AES encryption, so it has an extremely high security level, and if you want, you can even back up those encrypted files on the cloud. For the little ones, ColorOS 13 also helps guard your children's digital health with KidSpace. When this mode is enabled, the entire screen will have a blue light filter to protect their eyesight. Plus, it'll include a few reminders. For example, if the child has the screen too close to their face, the phone will remind them to move it farther away. If they're sitting incorrectly, such as lowering or tilting their head or lying down, ColorOS will remind them to fix their sitting position to improve their posture and ease the burden on their spine. Or if they're in a dark area with the screen's light blasting at their face, ColorOS will tell the child to go to a brighter area to avoid harming their eyesight. Not a bad way of protecting your kid's health. Multi-Screen Connect, the feature that lets you connect your Oppo phone to your laptop, has just gotten way better with ColorOS 13. Instead of having a single window, you can now have up to three simultaneously. One for mirroring your phone's screen, and two for other apps. It's multitasking on a whole other level. On top of that, files that you transfer will not be done without using any mobile data. It'll all be done locally. This one's really cool. If you own an Oppo tablet like the Pad Air, you'll also be able to connect your phone to it and do all the same things like transfer files, open apps on the tablet, and share the clipboard between the two devices. I thought that was really creative. Plus, since ColorOS now integrates Android 13's newest connectivity features, you'll also be able to connect to Chrome OS and cast apps onto any Chromebook. If you're constantly using Google Meet, Zoom, or Microsoft Teams for your lectures or business meetings, any incoming notifications you receive will have the banner be reduced in size so that it doesn't get in the way of your video conference. 
And finally, if you're a fan of Oppo's emoji, which lets you create 3D animated emojis that look just like you, ColorOS 13 includes many more stylistic accessories, including more facial shapes, makeups, hobbies, and other cool styles. That's pretty much every change found within Oppo's newest ColorOS 13 update. Honestly, I give it a huge thumbs up, because unlike most OEMs, Oppo has gone above and beyond. Obviously, ColorOS 13 is an Android-based operating system, but it doesn't feel like a basic Android skin. With this update, they brought a lot of technological innovations and brought a lot of amazing design updates as well, all while still including most of the essential Android 13 features that also come with the pixels. Things like notification permissions and extra security features. I guess the only thing I would have liked to see is an updated widget panel that has all the sections be collapsed upon opening it, and themed icons for the system apps which match the color of your chosen background. Those are just small suggestions though, it's still a spectacular update. The Find X5 and X5 Pro will be the first to receive this update, with other models like the X3 Pro and Reno 8 Pro getting it in the coming months. Here's a list of all the Oppo phones that will be receiving this update and when they should be getting it. Anyways, that's my full review of ColorOS 13. If you learned a thing or two, drop a thumbs up so that this video gets recommended to other Oppo users. And if you really love this video, why not get subscribed with the notification bell turned on? Thank you so much for sticking to the end, and I'll catch you in the next one. Kapow!